Does it matter if something is on tele but not captured in an ECG? How reliable are sometimes tele leads? What are some nuances between that? Anything that's more than a few seconds that's irregular and there's no definitive atrial activity on the telemetry, I think the pretest probability for true atrial fibrillation is pretty high. When you're dealing with stuff that's more regular, determining exactly what it is can be a challenge, whether it's exactly an atrial tachycardia or an atrial flutter. I will say that, that one thing we always teach house staff is the other thing, something very fast and regular can be a sinus tachycardia. So looking at the trend of the heart rates on the telemetry can be very powerful. Sinus tachycardia never is, you know, 80 beats a minute one second and 130 the next second. I mean, they clearly have gone into a new supraventricular tachycardia, whatever it may be. So looking at the trend, looking at the the regularity, and then doing your best to focus on the atrial activity. But it's like we say in all of our consult notes for these rhythms, if, if someone goes into it, we need a 12 lead ECG. Then the last thing I will say about telemetry in terms of trying to figure out the identity of a rhythm is often how staff present me with just the middle of the rhythm. But to be honest, the initiation and the termination of it are far more powerful in terms of trying to differentiate what that heart rhythm is and actually including, you know, artifact at times.